Well, hi everyone and welcome to another monthly financial recap. It's the 2nd of April, so this is going to be March numbers. So let's crunch some numbers. Before we start in what we spend in March, remember that what we try to do is include everything related directly to cruising. So you can see the actual cost incurred for Cruising Sea Venture for the month. To go back and review, uh, let's look at January's number was uh, $3,614. That's higher than you actually saw in the January video, but I've now included the Garmin InRange Starlink and prorated insurance. February was a whopping $5,918. That was as a result of spending some time in San Jose del Cabo in the marina. So let's start taking a look at March. First off, uh, first item, eating out, one of our favorite activities, but only $242. That was almost all in La Paz. Only one meal right here in San Evaristo a couple of nights ago. Groceries was all provisioning while we were anchored in La Paz. $348 in food provisions uh, while we were in uh, La Paz that we put on board the boat. Now next one, marina fees. You'll remember this was a shocker back in February uh, when we spent about $2,500 for two weeks in the marina at San Jose del Cabo. Well marina fees for the month of March, $10 because we were anchored every single night in the month of March but there is $2.50 a day charge for the dinghy dock in La Paz. We did that for four days so $10 for the month of March in dinghy fees. Boat stuff. This is uh, you know shopping in the uh, candy stores in La Paz. $415. We spent uh, more than half of that was actually my uh, beautiful new stainless steel pole holder for fishing in the back. Uh, then we spent money on some uh, zincs because we were short on our inventory of zincs. We got a used boarding ladder and we bought some uh, spare spark plugs for the little tender. So that boat stuff came out to $415. A ride share in, um, in uh, La Paz was $21. That was split between Uber and uh, uh, we shared a taxi once and we used Didi ride share. Uh, but mostly we walked, so just $21. Fuel. Fuel for the month of March. Uh, that's diesel fuel, $757. And if you've been following along, you know, we didn't actually buy fuel. We have plenty on board, uh, but we ran the main engines uh, just uh, under 42 hours was it. But that still burns 131 gallons at 3.15 gallons an hour, $459. And even though we ran the engines just under 42 hours, we ran the generator 85 hours. That's what you get for being anchored all month. Uh, that burns about 85 gallons. She runs right about one gallon per hour. Uh, which was uh, uh, came out to $296. So the fuel we prorate out at $350 per gallon, average cost of fuel that's on board. So we consumed about $757 in fuel in the month of March. The Garmin InReach, that's uh, our tracker. So if you go to our website, cruisingseaventure.com, click where in the world is Sea Venture right now. It gives you an update every 10 minutes around the clock. That's the Garmin InReach that's providing that information, and that cost us $55 a month. The next item is Starlink, uh, $72. Now, when I included this uh, last month for the first time, we got lots of questions about Starlink, mostly from uh, people that have Starlink they bought in the United States. So, the Starlink unit that you buy is basically, we have the RV version, it's what all the cruisers have. It's basically the same whether you bought it in the U.S. or in Mexico, but the cost per month is different. I think in the U.S. it's $135 or $150 a month now for some people, but in Mexico it's $72 uh, a month for Starlink. And then uh, the prorated insurance, this was a shocker for a lot of people to learn that, uh, that the, the cost to insure an ocean-going powerboat uh, is a lot. Uh, for cruising in Mexico, it's $9,400 a year we pay, or $783 a month. So that's just the insurance cost prorated out, uh, and our insurance will come up in August, and we'll see what happens when that happens. So the March total, including everything, $2,703. Uh, 
is our total and having never docked for the month of March. Now of that $2,700, realize over $1,500 of it is insurance and the prorated fuel cost. But that puts us at 2703 the lowest month of the year. No big surprise uh, given there's no marinas involved and just a little bit of provisioning while we were in uh, um, La Paz. So that's going to wrap up our financial video short and sweet this month. We'll continue to track expenses and provide you each month the actual cost of cruising uh, sea venture uh, for the you know the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, it's 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 all good for us. It's just the cost. And the cost is what it is for us trying to you know cruise and live our best life. That's what it's costing us aboard Sea Venture. So until next time, wishing you no wind and flat seas. Bye everybody.